Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the Marvel DC Universe Fan Club, and welcome to my discussion board. And today's discussion will be Azari, the son of Black Panther and Storm. For those that don't know, um, Storm and T'Challa do wed, and eventually have a child together. Um, Azari was born in Wakanda, but raised by Iron Man alongside his friends James Rhodes, Hank Penn Jr. and Toron. Together they form the next Avengers and later add Hawkeye to their team. Um, the Kid Avengers brought it into Ultron's tyranny with the help of Iron Man, Vision, and Hulk. So this takes place um, in the Marvel anime, animated movie uh, Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow which was done in September Second, um, 2008. So, he also made an appearance in Shield Volume Two, Issue Number Four, and uh, it was like in February 2012, I believe. But it, yeah, he made uh, two appearances that I know of: one in the animated movie, and of course, one in the comics. So that's a brief history of uh, Azari, of course. Let's talk about his personality, okay? You know, he's calm, level-headed, and the most mature of the children, and uh, is closest to Pym despite or because of their opposite personalities. Unlike his father, who always agreed with Tony, Azari always uh, does what Stark says, of course and um, has great respect and trust in him. Due to being connected with the Panther's uh, spirit through birth, Azari often moves in a cat-like way and often sits in a crouched position. Let's talk about his powers, okay? Um, as you know, it turns out that Azari inherited the abilities of the heart-shaped herb from his father, T'Challa, and he also inherited the mutant powers and abilities of his mother Storm. Alright. Now let's talk about the human condition. Alright. So the uh, his bodily functions are at the maximum limit of human condition. Alright. His natural capabilities are near human uh, superhuman of course. Now let's talk about uh, superhuman strength, okay? So it turns out that he is considerably stronger than the average human, alright? His strength is at the peak of human potential, alright? Now let's talk about stamina, alright? So Azari is, consider is considerably stronger than the average human. Uh, his strength is at the peak of human potential, alright? Now let's talk about human stamina. Azari possesses a highly developed musculature and as a result his musculature generates less fatigue toxins uh, than the bodies of most humans. He can exert himself for hours before fatigue starts to set in. Now let's talk about human endurance. He can um, he can endure uh, more physical stress than the average human. So, I mean, I can't really explain more than that, honestly. But um, he let's now let's talk about his durability. Uh, his skin, bones, and muscles are harder and stronger than normal humans. He can withstand tremendous impact force without showing signs of injury or discomfort. Uh, his ability to resist and recover from physical injury or disease is almost at the pinnacle of human capability. All right. Now let's talk about his uh, human healing factor. All right. Nazari's natural healing capabilities are at the highest levels of human potential. Uh, his white blood cells can fight off microbes, infections, disease, uh, disorders, wounds, etc. Additionally, 
uh, their you know their healing time of like for like wounds. Uh, well, the healing time is very short, of course. Of course. So, um, like wounds, cuts will be healed in minutes, and broken bones will be healed in hours. So, uh, I wouldn't say he he probably won't be able to heal as fast as Wolverine would, you know, or Deadpool or Sabretooth. But um. That concludes that part. Um, now let's talk about human reflexes, okay? Uh, Azari's reaction time is superior of that of any any Olympic athlete that has ever competed. His uh, reactions are superior to those of normal humans and are near superhuman. Um, now let's talk about his human agility, okay? His agility, um, balanced and bodily coordination are at, the, are at the pinnacle of human development. Uh, his agility is superior to any Olympic level gymnast that has ever competed, of course. So, um, that concludes that part. Now, let's talk about the superhuman acute uh, senses. Inherited from his father, Az um, Azari possesses extremely accurate senses. He can see in total darkness, see over hundreds of feet away as if he is right in front of it. Of any, you know, he can see like a hundred feet away as if, you know, it is right in front of his face. Um, he can also hear with Amazing clarity, distance, and even frequencies outside normal range. Now let's talk about his enhanced uh, speed. Okay, Azari is able to run and uh, move at superior uh, speed, of course, to those of any Olympic athlete, uh, and is capable to well, he's capable of outrunning moving vehicles. His top speed isn't known. So honestly I don't I don't think he's as fast as Flash and Super, and uh, Quicksilver but you know he I would say he's halfway or I'll say all you know I'll say halfway or maybe less than halfway, I'm not really sure but it's unknown. Now Let's talk about his flight, all right? So Azari can, can fly by uh, charging his lower body with electric energy. And now let's talk about electrokinesis. Uh, he can generate and, and manipulate energy, well, electricity, of course. Um, his power. Uh, well, this power uh, seems to be inherited from his mother, Storm. All right, but uh, yeah, he can manipulate. Uh, he can generate and manipulate electricity. So let's talk about energy burp. Uh, sorry, electricity projection. Okay. So as far as electricity. Elect electricity projection goes he can project uh, electricity through his hands and body all right um, and that that also is um, he can also create he can also create a electricity blast let's talk about that all right so Azari can create and project blasts of electricity that can uh, take the form of a panther and making it seem as if it's alive. All right, uh, and let's not forget force fields. All right, so Azari can produce a highly concentrated electric force, which I think is pretty cool. So 
I ain't gonna lie, man. Azuri, you know, he has the hookup. So, you know. I mean, if I wanted to be a character in the next Avengers, I would be him. So, that concludes, uh, that concludes his powers. Now, let's talk about, let's, let's briefly talk about his abilities, okay? He's an expert tracker and hunter. Um, and, let's see, he is, uh, he inherited all of his father's combat skills. Um, this takes this makes him an expert in practically all forms of unarmed and armed combat, and uh, a master of all martial arts, including African and unknown forms. So that concludes the abilities. Let's talk about the equipment. Now, his armor that you know his constructed well, his armor was constructed in Wakanda. And made of vibranium, similar to some ways to the suit of Black Panther. So his uh, suit is uh, well equipped with um, vibranium microwave mesh. I'm sorry, micro, you know, uh, weave mesh. Um, the micro weave mesh robs incoming uh, objects. Of their momentum and bullets do not ricochet off but simply fall to the ground when they come in contact with the weave. His, his suit also has anti metal claws. Okay, um, the claws from his gloves are made of uh, Antarctic uh, vibranium based anti metal that can break down basically all metals at the, at the molecular level and. Um, his claws also have the ability to emit small energy blades from the tip as well uh, as launch them as projectiles. So yeah, even his suit got the hook up. So oh let's not and let's not forget his belt. Um, Azari wears a belt that can transform into a staff and uh, can use his staff with great skill. He can also send electricity uh, through it and use it as a dangerous weapon. So that concludes the equipment part. Now, uh, some are probably wondering if he's going to be in the MTU or not. Honestly, I think it's likely that he will, um, but uh, we don't know for sure if you will appear in the MCU. But it turns out that um, us actor Evan Alex wants to play T'Challa's son in the MCU. And I could see him as a character, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, Marvel Studios has a lot of material to go with, you know, to go with, enough to last him a lifetime, so meaning that they're never going to run out of ideas for future films. So, uh, that, that ends this discussion. Till next time.